What's up, YouTube? This is uh, Too Raw for TV. So, I talked about Donovan Mitchell uh, previously, so I got to do a video talking about Luka Doncic. And, uh, of course, Luka Doncic has been sensational uh, in their playoff series, in, in, in the Dallas Mavericks playoff series, excuse me, against the Los Angeles Clippers. Um, you know, last night, of course, he hit a buzzer-beating three-pointer to tie the series at two games apiece. And this series is now, of course, going to go at least six or seven games. And if they were to knock off the Clippers, um, this would be a, a, a huge upset, being that many people, including myself, picked the Clippers to be title favorites. Um, you know, and, and, um, you know, Luca right now is playing at a level that, I mean, you just have to respect, man. I mean, right now, you know, Luca had, I think he just came off a huge playoff triple double. I think he had 43 points, something like 17 rebounds, 13 assists. I think that's the second highest scoring triple double game behind the 51-point triple-double Westbrook had like three years ago. Um, you know, so far this playoffs, Lucas averaging 31.5 points, 10.5 rebounds, 9.8 assists, one and a half steals. He's shooting 52% from the floor, and he's shooting 38% from the foul line. The only little weakness is from the foul line, a uh, 38% from the three-point line. Excuse me. The only weakness is that he's only shooting 69% from the foul line. In many ways, man, his numbers kind of mirror. And this is the only time I'm going to bring this comparison up. His numbers kind of mirror what I would think a Larry Bird would do in this era, more or less. I mean, Bird wasn't the ball handler that Luka is. Uh, but, you know, um, a lot of these numbers kind of mirror what I would think that he would have done in this particular era. Um, but when you look at it, though, man, when you, when you look at what he's been able to do, I, you, you got to give him props for something. When you look at this team, all right, with Tim Hardaway Jr., all right, who's a fine player, not great, but fine. You look at Kristaps Porzingis, who's a, a really good player, but inconsistent, has injury issues. Then you look at the rest of the roster: Seth Curry, great spot up shooter, but you know not a great player. Trey Burke, Dorian Finney-Smith, Boban Marjanovic, uh, Maxi Kyber, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, who's been a bust. JJ Barrera, you know whose best days are behind him. Justin Jackson, Dion. Right. This isn't like a loaded team, but they've been the most efficient offensive team by the numbers, at least, in the history of the NBA. And despite the fact that the Clippers have been lauded as this great defensive team, that efficiency has, if anything, only gotten even better during the playoffs. And even though Kawhi Leonard has been great in his playoffs, um... He's averaging 33 points and 10 rebounds, going along with five assists and two steals. Um, but he's been outshined by Luka's brilliance. You know, we got to be honest. Now, look, um, I am getting a little bit irritated at some of the stuff that is starting already. You know what I'm saying? Like some of the stuff I anticipated, you know, the comparisons to Mike. And look, my thing is this. Michael Jordan is the only goddamn player that people have to bring up. Like, if you want to say Luka's legendary, then bring him, to, bring him up or compare him to the logical guy. Compare him to Bird. Oh, you're making it racial? I mean, what well, shit, everybody want to make him the next Bird. So, just, I mean, look, Michael isn't the only guy to make a game win in the playoffs. Shit, at least compare him to LeBron. But then, you know, you have people that, look, I don't even want to go down that road, man. You know, look, this ain't, I'd rather do that on the Patreon. 
Um, but Luke has been great. And um, what this is showing to what this playoffs is exposing, and this is one of the things that we've been critical of, what this playoffs is exposing is that the NBA has a lot of stars. But the way that ESPN and Fox Sports cover these guys is minimum. And if they would just... If they were just willing to unlatch their jaws from around the phallus of a particular player <laughs> in L.A. and actually give other guys shine, the NBA would be a much better product. I don't mind them making one guy the, the star of stars, but you got to cover all these other guys. There are so many other players. But I'm going to tell you something, man. Paul George, <sighs> Paul George really needs to step up, man. I mean, he was horrible in his last game, all right? So far in the playoffs, Paul George, who is supposed to be the number two guy with the Clippers, he's only averaging 15 points a game, and he's only averaging 29% shooting from the floor, and 22% shooting from three. Um, Paul George needs to step up, man. And if they are the, if if they lose this series, and it's because of Paul George and his lack of, you know, effectiveness on both sides of the floor, then you know you, you have to kind of take Paul George out of that equation, man. Like I, I remember Paul George. You know, look, th this is the thing about Paul George. You know, I might do a separate video about that. I might do a separate video about Paul George. But he needs to step up, okay, um, in order for the Clippers to not just win a title, but at this point even to win this series. You know, but I'm going to tell you something, man. When you look at who Luka's playing with, man. I mean, look, he has his flaws. He, he's sometimes a guy that can still take bad shots. He's not a great defensive player, but in today's league, these things don't count against you as much, I guess. But as an overall offensive player and, and the things he can do on the court, Luka's coming. Like, I mean, when I say he's coming, I mean, Luka has it pretty much figured out already. And this is a guy that is only in his second year, making his playoff debut. But he's playing with the pose of, and the poise, I guess I should say, of a veteran. And this is a guy that's played with, you know, he's played against adult players since he was a kid. And this is a guy that has been on the record saying that he finds the NBA easier than overseas so this is a guy man that um i don't know man just imagine if luca was playing with another great player okay imagine if he was playing with another great player like lebron's playing with ad you know what i'm saying imagine if he was playing with another great guy that was more off the ball Oh boy, I'm telling you, man. This this guy, he, he might be the one that's gonna be like the next guy for the next decade or so. But tell me what you guys think.